In 2005, four of Sydney's most prized universities came together to establish an important and respected research facility. The Sydney Institute of Marine Science, or SIMS, was founded by Sydney, Macquarie, New South Wales and UTS universities. Hi, I'm Tracy Holmes, SIMS Ambassador, and I'd like you to take a look at what I believe is one of Australia's most important research initiatives. The critical nature of the SIMS research is paramount to understanding Sydney Harbour and the ocean at large. Professor Peter Steinberg is the CEO of SIMS and he explains. The Sydney Institute of Marine Science sits in the middle of Australia's largest city, a city of some four and a half million people. It also sits along a coast that's bathed by the tropical East Australian current. And in fact, it makes Sydney and the coast of New South Wales a global hotspot for ocean warming. This makes SIMS ideally, if not uniquely placed, to address two of the most significant environmental issues facing us today, urbanization and environmental change, including climate change. SIMS has over 100 scientists who address these issues with expertise ranging from microbiology to oceanography to coastal management to fishery science. This science is used both to understand Sydney and New South Wales oceans, as well as to integrate it into educational programs and to interact with government agencies so that our science gets used for policy and management. In a short period of time, less than 10 years, SIMS has become one of the major nodes in marine science in Australia. This multidisciplinary approach to marine science is new, and we want to use all the expertise available to future-proof our marine environment against the challenges that it faces now and in the coming decades. Professor Emma Johnston heads up SIMS work on the Sydney Harbour Research Program. It collects vital data in order to enhance and better manage the resilience of Sydney's urban waterways. Sydney Harbour is incredibly biologically diverse, but it's also home to a really large city and lots of people doing lots of things in this harbour. Our research program works to understand estuarine environments, the threats that they face and the biological diversity and functions that they provide. Sydney Harbour is home to a huge range of habitats. We've got seagrass, mangroves, salt marsh, rocky reefs, pelagic environments. Just about every marine habitat that you can find on Earth is in this harbour. It's our responsibility to work to understand how those habitats support this huge range of species so that we can better protect them for future generations. SIMS looks after the New South Wales stretch of the Integrated Marine Observing System, known as IMOS. Dr Martina Doblin heads up the IMOS research. Just as the Bureau of Meteorology monitors the state of our weather around Australia, IMOS monitors the status of the ocean. The key goal of IMOS is to monitor the physical, chemical and biological status of the ocean. SIMS hosts three important facilities. One of them is the Australian Animal Tagging and Monitoring System. So this facility tracks animal movements from fishes to sharks and mammals from the Australian continent all the way down to Antarctica. Another facility is the Australian Autonomous Underwater Facility. This monitors the state of the seafloor by taking high resolution imagery. The third facility is the Moorings Network. This facility monitors the state of the physical and biological environment in multiple locations along the New South Wales coastline. IMOS is a really integral part to the research program here at SIMS. SIMS is involved in an incredibly broad range of research programs that are far reaching and yield valuable information for scientists the world over. Here's Peter again with some other key interest areas for SIMS. SIMS is in Sydney Harbour, but in fact SIMS scientists work all over Australia and indeed all over the world. In a new program, SIMS has partnered with the New South Wales State Government to look at the effects of sea level rise and increased storm frequency on the beaches and coastal development that Sydney siders love so much. SIMS scientists also work in Antarctica, and indeed we're now using seals as oceanographers in Antarctica. SIMS scientists also work in the tropics where they study everything from sea cucumbers to tropical fishes. So also finding increasing numbers of tropical fishes in Sydney Harbour. These fishes have come down from the northern coral reefs, a la Finding Nemo. The presence of these fishes so far south may be the first signs of global changes in our oceans. SIM's big passion is sharing its research and facilities with the community. Through the harbour hike, the site tours and other citizen science programs, SIMS is absolutely committed to enlighten the public with its knowledge. 
To learn more about Sims, to become a member or to donate to the Sims cause, just jump online and go to sims.org.au. It's not just a rewarding program to be a part of, it's a genuine chance to make a real positive difference to this magnificent harbour that so many of us call home.